Hello, everybody. I'm Ella Crony, the author of Forever Young. I'm here today with my friend Glenn, the owner of Press Team Wellness. That is the water that I talked about in Chapter 8, and I have so many testimonials that I actually wanted him to share some information with you himself. So, Glenn, for my readers, can you tell me and let them know why proper hydration is so important? Well, the human body is 70% water, and as a result of burning fossil fuel, there's excessive acids in the water. Okay. So let's just examine acid rain in a nutshell real quick here. Okay. The acid rain causes a cascade of effects that harms or kills individual fish, reduce fish population numbers, can completely eliminate a fish species from the body of water, it decreases biodiversity, kills crops, trees, other vegetation, eats into copper, lead, and galvanized it's a building, automobile, monument, statue, overpass, underpass, sidewalk, brick wall. Wow. I would say that's a little hard. Yes, on the body. So the first thing we need to understand is we need to drink acid-free water. Yes. Properly mineralized. Yes. And contaminant-free. Okay. So what are our options for water? Our options for water is, first we add a carbon block filter, but it doesn't pull the acids out, the pharmaceutical, the hardness in water. Okay. Then technology evolved and it went to a reverse osmosis. Well, reverse osmosis cleaned the water out. But the problem was that acids are liquid. And the fluoride that they put in the water was hydrofluorosilic acid. So we have a lot of acids in the water. And on our body. Right. So what happens is these acids are liquids and they go right through reverse osmosis membrane. And reverse osmosis water for you is worse than tap water okay. because it was all the alkalinity thing. Even though there was a lot of pollution, at least there was some alkalinity to buffer the acid. Okay. So then the evolution of the water technology evolved and we found this thing called the water ionizer. Okay. The water ionizer was a great step for us because we found that by removing these acids from the water, people can help you. Yes. It was a great evolution, but in a close examination we found that it was merely acid-free tap water. Wow. So the ionizer was taking the acid out, okay. but it left all the pharmaceuticals, the hormones, steroids, antibiotics. It pulled out all, but didn't take the fluoride out. So we had a problem. So I developed the next generation of water machines okay. called Pristine Hydro. Yes. And Pristine Hydro is not only clean water, and it's not only acid-free, but the water is properly mineralized with calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium, and chloride, bicarbonate, electrolyte salts. Okay. But it's super high in magnesium due to the prevalence of a magne deep magnesium deficiency. Okay. So the water is super high in magnesium and it's clean. We took it, everyone could say anything they want. I took my water to the laboratory. Okay. This is good. I took it to the laboratory. The lab results are on our website, pristinehydro.com. Beautiful. And we have the first, I just, it's super complicated. I try to keep things simple, but it's not simple. It's I call it a carbon cycle. It's incomplete. I completed that. I just patented a new cycle called the Cochran cycle, which is the interaction of the hydrologic cycle and the carbon cycle. And this is the process it takes, us, it takes to get us pristine drinking water. There's a okay. huge difference. Yes. Between H2O, okay. rainwater, pristine drinking water, aged water, hard water, and salt water. So that's why it tastes good and it holds the chocolate. I mean, any water that you put negative ions in, calcium, maybe potassium, sodium, the pH would last for at least six months. Okay. And just because something has a high pH doesn't necessarily mean it's acid free. Okay. Acids and bases. And in sufficient quantities can offset each other. Okay. If you go into tap water, you look at pH 7.8. But if you run it through an ionizer and you take the acid out, it goes to 10.5. Okay. But if you take the acid and you pour it back in, it goes back to 7.8. Okay. Because tap water looks alkaline, but it's full of acid. Okay. You take the acid out, pH goes up, pour it back in, it goes down. My water is acid free. And it's properly mineralized, and we all okay. So what we have is pristine minimum water. 
There you go. And that's why, I have, that's why I have so many good testimonials. Because my clients love it. My readers love it. I've got people from all over the country using your water. So I know it works. I know it works. And they know it works. And I want to say thank you. Well, thank you. Well, the last thing I'll say is I'm a very blessed man. I was sick when I was 49. I'm 61 now, right now. And it's like a dream come true. The older I get, the better I feel. And water is the very beginning of the journey to good health. So peace, joy, and blessings, my friend.